Hi everyone, welcome to Road. Um, this is our fifth year in this facility now, uh, where we manufacture all of our own components at Urban, um, including R&D through to ongoing production. So let's take a look through the varied processes and bring up the speed on how it works in the urban composite side of things. Okay, let's start with the freezer um, or the carbon material in the freezer is stage one. Uh, this is pre-preg carbon, so it's got a resin that's impregnated into the fabric. It needs to stay in the freezer for the purpose of its outlife. If it stays at an ambient temperature, uh, 20 degrees for more than 30 days, it's going to start to cure off. So this is why it stays in here until ready to use it. And we cut it into kit format to use on the components in the laminating process, which we'll take you to now. So before we go through to laminating stage, uh, we need to release the mold. Um, so an analogy to help people out at home watching, um, imagine if you're baking and you need to put margarine in the baking tray to prevent your muffins or cakes from sticking. This is basically the same process. So this is a release agent. It's applied to the mold surface. Uh, several coats that are then um, cured off. Once that's done, then it can go into the clean room and then the laminating process can begin. So moving on to stage three, this is our kit cutting table where we cut the kits out of the pre preg material manually. Um, early on in the R&D process, this is done while we find our feet with how we want to cut the kit before creating a component by uh, laminating it into the mold. So the guys behind me are going to start laminating components for the RS3. Once they're complete, we're then going to bag everything up into the back bag and then get it ready for the clave. So moving on to stage four, um, once we've laminated the components, um, they have to go into a vacuum bag uh, to make it ready to go in the clave. This is an example. This has got 12 hours of labor in it to get to this point. So kit cutting, laminating, debulking, bagging, making it clave ready, making sure there's no leaks. So shortly the clave is going to be unloaded and then it's going for the second or third cure of the day. Um, and this will get loaded up with, with some other components to make the most of the cure. Right, okay, so the autoclave is coming to the end of its cure cycle. It's been in there for about two hours, 20 minutes so far, at 110 degrees at 70 PSI. I always hate standing in front of this thing. I've got a real problem with pressure vessels. It's safe, don't worry, but I like it. So we'll open it up. We've got a mix of jobs in there, which are up on the cure log board, two of which we want to see, which is the RS3 side seal, the first component, and the RS3 diffuser, the main part of the assembly. Uh, this is uh, breaking out or demolding the component from the mold. So it's come out of the autoclave in cured state. An art to this, you have to be quite aggressive to get that component out with no damage. Um, as you can see Thomas is doing here, the glory moment for any laminator, uh, they love to come and see, especially their first off part coming out the R&D process. Here we go. Yeah. 